Bloomies are forever. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa from Fresh Blooming Clothing and I apologize for the several week break I took from YouTube. I had my gallbladder out. I'm finally doing much better. Recovery was kicking my butt there for a while and I expected to bounce back much quicker than I actually did. I've relisted everything on eBay and I'm going to try to list a few new items this week. We'll see how that goes. Thank you all for the encouragement and thoughts and those of you who reached out and just thought of me, that was so sweet. Okay, I went to Goodwill yesterday. I hadn't planned on it. It was the first time I've driven since my surgery. I didn't have any pain pills in me. I wasn't sure of how it was gonna go and I wanted to go grocery shopping. And on the way to grocery shopping, there's a turn for Goodwill and you can see it right from the road. It's like right there. And the person in front of me, I wasn't sure what they were doing. It was kind of like a slow driver and they pulled off to go to Goodwill and I was like, okay, I'll also go to Goodwill. So I wound up at Goodwill. I went slow. This is like a really nice Goodwill in our area. My other Goodwill, the half off Goodwill closed at the end of April. So this is the first time I've thrifted since then. I had a $25 off coupon when you spend $100. And when I got to the checkout, I knew I had spent like $200 plus just because of the boutique items I got. The guy rang up the $100, it's like 109, and he's like, oh, you have the coupon, okay. And he's like, do you want me to split these orders up? Yes, yes, do that. Because on the coupon on the website, it says one per person per day, something like that. And so he did. So instead of paying $200 or a little bit more, I paid about 150. It was my lucky day there. So here's what I have purchased the first time thrifting in almost a month and a half. I found, now I'll, I'll mention these prices. These are a lot higher than most Goodwills. They also raised the prices when I wasn't there. Like, like I'm in charge of the prices, right? Um, so swimsuits are $4.99. This one is made by Janssen and it's a size 12. I tried this on, it doesn't look the best on me, so I'm gonna sell it. It's just a classic fuchsia. I'll probably get about 15 bucks for this. I always check the crotch area. I like the buckles. I like the style. Oh, good. Some bras. Bras were still $1.99 each. And this one is Chantel. The label's not allowing me to show it, but it's got four back hook closures, which I know is well, well made. It looks brand new. I think it still even has a hang tag, but it's really nice condition. And it was a 30... 6H. So I'll write the label name on the screen. Good bra. I would expect to get somewhere around the $20 mark for this. Victoria's Secret Pink. This is their pink yoga bra. This also looked really nice. They wanted $1.99 for it. It's got pads inside. I don't think they're removable. Nope, underwire, black and white stripe. Cute. Neon Buddha. This Goodwill, whoever's pricing, knows eBay really well and just the market in general because almost everything decent is priced up. So Neon Buddha, I paid $8 for these. They had a whole bunch of Neon Buddha pieces. But most of them had damage or just looked a little shoddy. So these are like a blue, I would say, crop with a little scallop hem. I might try these on. <laughs> these are so me. They're cotton, they're soft. With having so many incisions on my abdomen, I've been wearing stuff like this constantly. So Neon Buddha, I do really well with it. I would expect to get maybe like $25 from these. Again, these are just prices that I'll probably ask. And if somebody sends me a price close or whatever, pricing is so relative right now. This is a vintage Scott McClintock 
lace top. It's in really nice shape. I'm guessing this label is probably like 70s, 80s. I'll look it up. I loved the high neck. It has that mock turtleneck look. The, the back fully buttons. It's white, which would be awesome for a wedding season. It's got giant puffed sleeves. It's got some shoulder pads. Like I, I don't even know if they're called shoulder pads when they just add volume to the shoulder. I'm sure they're called shoulder pads. And they wanted $10 for this. It's so pretty. Here, let's try that. The whole front of the bust is a mesh lace. Look how pretty that is. So when I photograph this, I'll probably slide something darker or a bright color to show that this is mesh rather than just lay it flat to where you couldn't see it. I don't know how much I'm going to get for this. I love this, so I'll probably price this too high. Next up, another boutique item, $10. This is Missoni. This is their orange label and it was cut. So. I have to see what the Missoni for Target label looks like. I'm pretty sure this is full Missoni and not the Target collaboration, but I have to figure that out. It's pretty teal and navy chevron. Missoni is known for their zigzags or chevrons. So, and it's got a, I think it's pointelle. It's P-O-I-N-T-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, I think where it has like that open weave with some holes in it. Just hangs open, has some pockets. If this is the t Target collaboration, I might get 15, 20 bucks. If it's the real thing, I might get like 40 to $60. Next, I found this while I was in line. They had their bathing suit stuff. And I live in Bradenton, Florida, so there's a big beach community here. We're very close to the beach. So there's a ton of beach stuff at our Goodwill. They wanted $3.99 for this, which cracked me up because if it would have been in the tops, it's like $4.99 or $5.99, but because they thought it was a swimsuit cover-up, it's $3.99. And this is XCVI. This is their mind set. This is their mindset line, which I think is a little bit of a lower line or like a more casual line navy just a very easy going shirt i have to trim the trim <laughs> it's it's very fringy but i'll cut that off and make it all neat and for four dollars i think this was worth it probably get about twenty dollars out of it some more swimsuits somebody i think donated a ton of their swimsuits because they're all about the same size and they're all brand new so this was one of those. There's no tags, but it still had the um, hypo something something hygienic, hygienic liner inside. So this is Athleta, size medium. And Athleta usually has the style numbers that you can look up. And this is from 2013. It has the cups, the removable cups. And it has that thing where it cuts out at the stomach. Yeah, brand new. Is this one also brand new? It is. This is Ann Taylor. This is the black label, the full Ann Taylor. Not Ann Taylor Factory, Ann Taylor Loft, Ann Taylor Loft Factory. Size small. Black. Removable cups. One piece. Excellent. Well, I was gonna say excellent condition. This one's brand new too. You can usually tell if it has any kind of like pool scent or the Gulf of Mexico scent. It doesn't. This one does not have a hygienic liner. It is Garnet Hill. I should try this on. So Garnet Hill is so hard to see. It's like a light green printed right on it. One piece. This is like a crossover or surplus. S-U-R-P-L-I-C-E, I think that's what it's called. I like the print. Next, <laughs> this is 
is for babies for 99 cents. Oh, all those swimsuits were 4.99, 99 cents. So Goodwill sells underwear, which if you can get vintage underwear, it makes sense. And, and some other underwears. These are for me. These were brand new, you could tell. They had like three or four, like almost in the package, but I pulled them out. And I wear boxer shorts to beds. I'm wearing a pair now. And that was the second pair. And honestly, if I had to do it again, I would pick up all the pairs because they're so comfortable. Uh, okay, Crown and Ivy. I have to check to see if Crown and Ivy is a stitch fix. But if not, elephants. How stinking cute are these? It's got a scalloped hemline. You're not gonna be able to see that. And they were a size 16. Just so cute. How much did they want for these? $4.99. $4.99 for shorts, right? So Crown and Ivy. This thing weighs so much. Giorgio, and then I couldn't make out the last name. I thought about this, I looked it up, I couldn't, because I couldn't look up the last name, I was unsure of what to do. Giorgio something with a K. It's a size 48, which I'm guessing is a European size. Um, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. The whole thing is sequins. I'm gonna put this over a heavy sweater. And it's got like a, a tuxedo satin lapel. The button is nice. I couldn't find a single flaw on this baby. Look how nice that is, right? I thought for like a cruise or if you were going to a wedding to put this over your dress. It's so pretty. It's got pockets. How much did I pay for this? I paid $4.99. Found a vintage piece. It's like a swimsuit, play suit, $4.99. Paradise Hawaii, made in Honolulu. I have to look up the decade. I'm not very good with decades. I'm going to assume 60s maybe. It's really, really pretty flowers. Zipper back. It is a talon zipper. T-A-L-O-N. It's not like a hardcore metal, but it is metal. So the back of it has a skirt. The front of it has a skirt. And then there's like a bathing suit, swimsuit thing underneath it. And there's this little, little bow doohickey. I liked it. Another swimsuit, is this one new? Yep, this one's got the hygienic liner. This is also Garnet Hill. It's a similar style, that little crossover, one piece a lot of this style now. $4.99. Then I found this and this was in the vests and I'm telling you what if tapestry vests you know the ones I mean like tapestry uh, ever come back in style my Goodwill has so many I'm almost tempted to buy some. I need tapestry vests to come back in style. Somebody famous wear one and then I can pick them all up. Of course they wouldn't be there anymore if that happened but I found this in the vests. The top, I don't know what this material is called. It has a floral woven throughout. I always forget if that's damask or jacquard or brocade. So I have to figure that out. It's nothing special looking until you look at the label. It is CP Shades. CP Shades does really well. So I was excited to find this. Then in linens, I found a bunch of Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren, but again, the person marking them up, marked them up high, like Ralph Lauren pillowcases. I was looking for pillowcases for us, for our king pillows. They were $12.99 a pillowcase for a used pillowcase, $12.99, Goodwill. I did find and buy this. This is $5.99. It is a queen um, bed skirt. Ralph Lauren. It looks to be in pretty good shape. I'll give it a wash though. 
have to look up the print. So I'll just type in Paisley and maybe pink, blue, and see if somebody else hasn't already figured out the print. Yep, looks to be in really nice shape. Where was this made? This was made in Bahrain. Bahrain, Bahrain. The ones in US are um, older, so I'm guessing this is within the last 10 or 15 years. This might bring like $25, $30, so. <sighs> this I wasn't sure about. I think this was the only piece, this was my last piece, just to see if I hit that next mark. I always have like a piece in the cart that I'm just not sure about, but this helped me hit the $100 mark and get the 25. So it's Tahiti Imports. It was made in Hawaii, in Maui. On Maui? In Maui? It's like a house dress. Is it backward? And it's pink and it has beautiful shells on it. The whole print is just shells. And the screen print, I'm guessing, like you kind of feel it. It's laid on top of the pink material. So it's a long piece. It could be a beach cover up, it could be a house dress. My eye kept catching on a spot, and I wasn't sure if it was even anything, but I'm not going to be able to find it now. It was just ever so slightly. Oh, this has a print in it, uh, a signature in it. I have no idea what that signature is. I'll have to do a little bit more research. I still think this was a decent buy, though. Um, how much did they want for this? $3.99. Brand new Stitch Fix. This is their street level Juno small folded clutch in green. It's a really pretty color. I liked that it was a crossbody if you wanted it to be. Um, $7.99 though. Gold chain. Yeah, definitely long enough to be a crossbody. I'll have to look this up. Maybe $20 to $30. Next, another boutique item here. $20 Goodwill wanted for it. Goodwill knows their labels. This is Misuk or Misuk, exclusively Misuk. This is a really good label to know. I'm sure they realized it was worth something. It's just a very long knit black skirt. Misuk almost always, not always though, has this very tight acrylic woven knit to it. So um, it has the brand new tags. It was purchased, is that Macy's? I don't know. That yellow, like, keep this on to return it. Oh no, it's Dillard's, it says it right on the front. $180. So I paid 20, I'm gonna put this up, I think for about 40 to $50, probably closer to 50. St. John, my Goodwill has ton of higher end labels. However, they know their labels really well. So for instance, I don't think I've ever seen a Chanel in there, but if they would have gotten a Chanel suit, it might be priced for $400. I mean, like they really know their stuff. So it's hard to, what do I wanna say? It's hard to beat them. It's hard to find something that's not in the boutique because somebody is going through every single piece. But again, you can still find some steals and deals, but they know their stuff. So this is St. John's Sport, which is one of their lower lines. It's a cardigan and the buttons all have like, almost a tortoise shell. <laughs> we have landscapers outside, sorry about that. Um, kind of a tortoise shell and gold logo and all the buttons are here. It is a giraffe cardigan. And I did find some of these that went for about $60. I paid $30. So I'm gonna put this up, I think for 70 or 80. I thought first it had some issues, but it just turns out it's the print. I wonder if that'll focus. See all those like weird tea stain marks? That's all over the whole thing, that's in the print. 
but they wanted thirty dollars for it. I, if it doesn't sell for like sixty to eighty dollars, I'm gonna send it to Thread Up. I just sent a ton of bags to Thread Up right before my gallbladder surgery, and I did really well with them. They gave me ninety percent, like this. They'll give me ninety percent of the consignment, and they priced the St. John items high. So. If I sent this thread up, I really might get 60 to $80. So it was worth picking up. Another St. John piece, except this is St. John Evening. Now both of them do have a slit, which means they were probably sold on like a clearance sale. This was stunning. I also paid $30 for this. It's this nude, I don't even know what color to call it. I'll have to look up what they call it. Maybe top or nude with these metallic rose gold studs. There you go. Over the whole thing. It's so shimmery. And is it there Santana in it? I don't know about that. Hopefully I can find the piece. St. John items, if they still have them in them, say the group. So this is group two, PF08. I don't know what PF is. Sometimes it's like cruise, sometimes it's fall. I have to figure that out, but it's so pretty. And it's in really good shape. Next is a Victoria's Secret Sport. It's, it wasn't boutique, it was $5 though. This is one of those sport items that have like underwear inside and it's black in the front but then it has little ruffles in the back and I like the ruffles. I'll save the best for last. Oh just dropped a shoe. This was the only pair of shoes I could see picking up. They wanted $13. My Goodwill is so high with shoes. They're brand new and it is a brand N-A-O-T made in Israel. They're size nine and a half. Like I said, they're brand new. I'll probably put these up for, I have to check comps, maybe $40 to $50. Huh, I wore this item. This is an Ann Taylor Loft Beach, Ann Taylor Loft Beach swimsuit. With my getting gallbladder surgery, my doctor okayed me to go swimming on Monday. So I went back for like my two week visit and she was like, you're doing great. Your wounds are almost healed. Go ahead and start swimming. I was so anxious to do anything when I'm feeling better. The first, the first four days were awful. Fifth day, I was feeling great. I really overdid it on day five. Day six was pretty miserable. And then like by day 11, I was feeling really good. So when I went to see the doctor, she's like, yeah, go ahead and start swimming. So I tried this on, it's too big on me but it's so nice that it's too big on me because it's not pressing on my incisions or anything else. So I'm gonna keep this and then probably sell it off later. It's got quite the print. And the leg openings, I mean, they have elastic, but they don't have that like hardcore bunchy elastic. It was so comfortable, it was so comfortable. But I did, I went and swam, which felt amazing. And the next step for me with the gallbladder, I'm still having a few issues, so they wanna do a scope to see if it's something else, but my gallbladder absolutely needed out, and they took out a lymph node, which I guess is pretty common. My lymph node was congested, and my gallbladder was infected and distended. I think that's the word she used. Okay, last item oh this was the first item i saw when i walked in this was boutique 25. they could have raised it so i'm glad they didn't it was victor costa for bergdorf goodman bergdorf goodman i'm sure everybody's heard of it's a higher end department store and like really high end not like jc penny's macy's nordstrom like bergdorf goodman this dress might have originally cost like a thousand dollars it's off. I want to try this on. What size are you? I don't know what size it is. Size 
size. It's faded. Style size. Oh, I think it's a 12. I'm going to try it on. It's a very heavy brocade fabric. And they have these little little black straps but I think those are meant to be hidden so it'd be off the shoulder and then it's fitted with boning in the bodice and then and then it puffs up it's so pretty and there's cr crinoline underneath and a lining this needs cut off it's so pretty and there's the back it's got a nice zipper on it oh they may want to invite me somewhere. <laughs> it was so much fun. I had, I had such a good time. I have a whole table waiting for me to list, but it felt so, so good. I was there for almost three hours because I went slow. Bending is still not free, but I, I had such a good time. And I put back some stuff that I wasn't excited about listing. I wanted to be excited about it since I'm just starting to get back to listing. And I'll probably be slow for the next two weeks. The, re the recovery time is like four to six weeks, but I'm, I'm doing really well. Okay, so I'm gonna go try on my dress, my dress, and I'll be right back. There's nobody here to zip me in this dress, which means there'd be nobody here to zip me out. So I'm, I'm not gonna zip up the full thing. I might be able to, but I'm just not. pockets. Okay, so that's all we're doing with that. I hope everyone has a wonderful day and the sun is shining and you're feeling well. Bye.
He's blooming with joy. 